All right, we're going to take another look at sums of consecutive integers. Um, and here I'm looking at a sum of five consecutive integers that equals 370. And uh, I want to kind of look at how this is put together and see if we can come up with a method that's better than guess and check for finding that. Because it took us, when we did this sum of four consecutive integers, it took us a bunch of guesses. Maybe we could do something that's a little faster than that. Um, and what I want to notice here is let's call the smallest number. I'm just picking the smallest number. I'm going to call the smallest number n. Then that means that this one here is 1 bigger than n or n plus 1. 74, the next number, that's 2 bigger than n. That's n plus 2. 75, that's 1, 2, 3 bigger than n. That makes it n plus 3. And finally, we have uh, this, uh, this last one here. That's four spaces bigger than n. That's n plus 4. And what am I doing with all of these? I'm adding them all up. Plus, 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 plus. All right, so now we have a, a formula for adding up to some total. It's a little complicated formula. Let's see if we can't simplify it a bit. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 n's. 5 n. Sometimes when I'm simplifying a really complicated expression like that, if I've combined a bunch of like terms, I like to kind of cross them off as I go. That way I can keep track of what's left. So I have a 1, a 2, a 3, and a 4 left. And 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is 10. It's a triangular number, by the way. So 5n plus 10 equals t. So now, if I knew my numbers added up to 370, I could just write that 5n plus 10 equals 370. And then I'd solve this equation. Let's see, I'll take 10 from each side. That gives me 5n equals 360. And I'll take 360. We've got to divide by 5 on both sides, and I get 72. So n equals 72. So with this formula, if I know what the output is, I can very quickly find what, the, what n is. And we've decided that n was the smallest number, and that makes the rest n plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4. Simplify that expression, it becomes 5n plus 10. I didn't have to set it up this way. I could have decided n was the biggest number. And then this one would be n minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. I could have decided n was the middle number. And then it would be n plus 1, n plus 2, n minus 1, n minus 2. Right? So it doesn't really matter. Um, I, I could set up several different expressions uh, and therefore several different equations for solving this problem. And it would just matter you know, which number in the sequence I was trying to find. And then you just sort of reconstitute the rest of the sum from that number. So if I knew the middle one, I'd know it's the next two and the bottom two. If I knew it was the top one, I'd just know it's the four behind it and so on. In this case, we did for the smallest number. And so I know it's 72. So the next numbers must be 73, 74, 75, and 76. So this is a lot quicker. If I can figure this formula out, that sure is a lot quicker than just doing this guess and check sort of approach. Okay. All right.